get that sweet potato casserole taste as good as it looks make you wanna what make you wanna smack somebody I cook just about everything good lord mm -hmm. come on in here y'all come on come on Today, people, today I have a recipe for you that is a holiday all-time favorite. I'm talking about sweet potato casserole. This sweet potato casserole is so good, y'all. Your family is going to want to make you cook it all the time. I'm telling you. I'm not just saying it because it's me. I gotta pet myself on my own back. That's just how good it is. So, come on here, y'all. Come on, let's make this sweet potato casserole. Come on! Now here are all the ingredients I will be using. For the sweet potatoes, three cups cooked and smashed sweet potatoes. One cup of sugar, real sugar, domino sugar, premium pure cane sugar, eight tablespoons of butter, real butter, not no margarine, melted butter people, two eggs at room temperature, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, one fourth cup of heavy cream, half and half or whole milk or pet milk if that's all you got, that's okay too. For the topping, four tablespoons of butter, melted, real butter, people. One cup of brown sugar, real brown sugar, light brown sugar, domino sugar, y'all. One third cup of all-purpose flour, and one cup of chopped pecans or walnuts, pecans or pecans, wherever you from. And these are all the ingredients. And you can double this recipe if you need to. First thing you gotta do, people, you got to take the skin off of this, all right? This is a potato pillar. You can find them in the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, you know. You don't want to leave this on here. Some people boil their potatoes. Not me, because I think it takes away the nutrients and the flavor. Me, myself, I just like to bake them in the oven. Some people put them in the microwave. It's up to you, people. It's up to you. This is so much easier. I'm telling you, you got to get you one of these things now. You don't. Don't be using no knife cutting yourself, and then you got to go to the emergency room because you was clumsy and cut off a finger. Yeah. I forgot to tell you, when choosing your sweet potato, make sure you get the little fat round ones, okay? Don't get a long one like this. Don't get them long. The little fat round ones are less stringy, people. You don't want stringy sweet potato casserole. You really don't. After you rinse them off with water, then you're gonna take a knife and slice them up. That's the way I do mine. You can slice yours up the way you want. Try to slice it up even as you can so they can cook at the same time and get done. Like I said, I'm putting mine in the oven at 350 degrees. Good Lord, this is hard. I'm weak, y'all. I got weak hands. Goodness. After you have them chopped to the size that you want, spray a pan with some cooking oil. I just use granola oil. Any oil will do. But I wouldn't suggest olive oil. Don't do that, okay? But you can do it if you want to. You can be our test dummy. Place them all in the pan. Get them in there. Don't worry about it. They will cook. Leave them in there long enough till they get soft.
See the difference when you bake it? Looks delicious, look roasted. All right, now you're gonna smash them. You can use whatever you want. You can use a fork to smash it too. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you smash it, y'all. Smash it, y'all. Smash it. Okay, I'm going to pour in my sugar. One cup of sugar. I'm going to put in my nutmeg and cinnamon. I mixed it together, people. It's been mixed together, okay? It's in there. It's in there. All right. Oh, yes. I'm going to stir that around just a little bit. Get it all blended up there. All on there. Ooh, it smells delicious. You can use a blender if you like. But I was lazy. I didn't want to pull out my blender. All right, here's my eight tablespoons of butter. Butter, real butter, not margarine. Also, here's my one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream. Heavy, heavy. Mm-hmm, smells good. Goodness gracious, y'all. I added my two eggs. Mix very well, people. Mix it very well. Okay. Mmm. Now I'm getting ready to add my teaspoon and a half of pure vanilla extract. Teaspoon and a half, people. Half. It's up to you if you like more added. It's up to you. Blend it very well. Oh, this smells so good. I could eat it just like this. But the raw eggs, don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. Don't eat the raw eggs. Again, I'm using granola oil. Spray the bottom and the sides. You don't want anything to be getting stuck. Then you're going to be blaming me. Blame yourself because I told you to use it. This is a two-quart deep dish pan. You can use a low one if you like. One that's not so high, but I like it thick. All right. You want to pour it all in there. Get all that goodness in there. Everything out of that bowl. Ooh. I'm telling y'all something now. This is going to be fantastic. Woo. Y'all going to be making this again for somebody. We're going to add our brown sugar. Yes. We're going to add our all-purpose flour. I'm going to mix this very well, y'all. You may have to get down in there and put your hands in there. You can put gloves on if you're doing it for, you know, company. You're cooking for people. You might want to wear gloves when you stick your hands in there. See all the little chumps? You got to get in there and break up those little chunks. Okay? Just me eating this today. Maybe my daughter will come and get some. I hope so because I can pig out on something like this. I really can. Don't need to, but I can do it. All right. Then you're going to add your pecans or walnuts or whatever you choose to get. It's up to you, people. It's up to you. Oh, wait. That's going to be good. Mmm. It even smells good. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, y'all. All right. I'm going to add my four tablespoons of butter. Whew. Mix that around. This is going on top. This is the topping. Now you're just gonna sprinkle it all over the top. Sprinkle it on there. This is the goodness, yeah. Sprinkle it all on there. Mm-hmm, spread it out. And this is what it should look like. Ooh, we all gonna be so happy. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is going into the oven for 350 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. Your oven may vary. Not vary, but vary.
Come on out of here. Good God, let it sit for about 20 minutes before you dig into it. I know you can't help yourself, but you gotta wait. Mm -hmm. Look at that sweet potato casserole. Taste as good as it looks. Make you wanna what? Make you wanna smack somebody. Whew. I feel like I've been slaving over the stove. Look at this, y'all. Look how delicious this looks. Now I'm gonna taste it for you. Don't get jealous. Don't get jealous. I got to pat myself on my own back. That is delicious, people. I hope y'all waited at least 20 minutes or 30 minutes before you put it in your mouth. Now, like I said before, you can have this for the holidays. Anytime, really, that you feel like eating it, all right? You can also put marshmallows on top if that's what you prefer, but I didn't prefer that today. And like I said, too, you know, a lot of people eat it with a lot of different stuff. You can have it with dressing. It's good with dressing. It really is. All right, y'all. That's all I got to say. It's delicious. You got to try it. You got to make it for yourself. The recipe is down in the description box. Do not forget. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video, y'all, with all your social media. There's a lot of people out there who can't cook, y'all. They need some help. They need some help for the holidays. And not only the holidays, they need some help all the time. Especially you new moms, you newly wives who can't cook. Y'all gonna need some help. So you might wanna come on over here. Come on over here, y'all, to Cooking with Sandra Faye.